What's up guys, I'm just in the middle of uh, knocking up a new stable, just copying the one off my Infinite Arc series that I did. Um, I'll explain that in a minute if you don't know what that is. And um, yeah, just getting some wood railings for a section on a build on it, because I uh, didn't quite have enough. But um added a couple more volts into the um, base at, since uh, the last little update of the base I did. Got a building parts vault out here just to store spare bits in when I make too many. Got all the uh, main resources down here, stone wood, thatch fibre. Got some new bookshelves in and organised them, so we've got the saddle arm and weapon blueprints in there. My main gear, um, there's some seeds in that one. Got another fridge, because I did have a load of prime meat, forgot to turn my... Um, <laughs> <laughs> generator on so it all disappeared so didn't need it in the end but whatever got two fridges in now a couple more storage boxes just for like gunpowder spark powder stuff like that that we'll get out of the mortar and pestles and then upstairs i've put another row of storage in and this is all like fiber hides um chitin uh charcoal all that sort of stuff then like collectibles, explosives, weapons, armor, all that kind of stuff that I'm not using at the moment, um, just for if I ever need to dip into it. Um, did they finish crafting? Yeah, they did. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, just in the middle of making a stables, basically. I uh, thought I'd sit it there. No, it looks a bit weird because it's off to one side but I thought it made it look a little bit different more like a little bit of a dockyard I'll probably run some foundations um, down the edge here as well so there's like a walkway around the edge of it um, and this is what we've got so far got the gates all nice and flush but I've just gone and got these because uh, I want a section of these in the middle and I'm hoping it'll look alright but yeah, this is uh, kind of based on the design I've done on my Infinite Arc series. Um, which, the server we've done that on has just been reset and it's been put on Primitive Plus. So I've lost my base now, but you know we knew that was going to happen at some point. But I did enjoy it, I loved that base. Definitely my favourite base I've ever built. And um, yeah, I'm glad I got it recorded so I can look back on it one day. Ah, oh, no, now I'm going to be one railing short. Um, can look back on it one day and be like, yeah, that was pretty cool. So um, it's good to have that, happy with that. But yeah, I did love the stables I built, and I didn't actually get to end up filling it, which is a bit of a shame. And um, I thought I'd get one on here because I'm going to have to get some baryonics for the caves. I thought it would be cool to park him up in here. Um, at the minute, I just have my dodic and stuff like that left outside, all of my dodics down there somewhere in the um, canyon next to some rocks where I've been farming rocks. Oh, I really miscounted. Uh, I need another three. Damn it. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be cool to get stables. I can get them parked in here with, like I said, the baryonics, get an equus and stuff like that. Um, and when we get the megaloceros as well, put one of them in there. Don't really need one because we've got the um, bronto, but you know, whatever. I want to fill my little stables up. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing that. Once I've finished this, I'm going to go and get a Baryonyx. What am I short on? Uh, have I got any wood left? Oh, loads of wood. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go and grab a Baryonyx, try and find a decent one this time. Obviously, since I had Barry, the one that got lost in the cave, um, we've put the levels up on the dino, so I can get a much better one now as well. So it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, we'll go get that, and the reason I'm doing that, and uh, not continuing from the last episode where we got red the tech rex, um, is because when we was trying to tame him, there wasn't really that many um, other decent rexes about I could find. Um, the ones that were sort of like 120 or around that, well 120 was actually the highest other than red that I see, they are all males, and obviously we've got a male at the minute. So I need a female, and uh, I just haven't seen any. Ah, oh, no. I thought I was going to let me build on there. Hmm. Okay, so I can't do the ends. I did think that, because I didn't do it on the other one, but I thought I'd see if I could get away with it. Maybe there's a trick to doing it, but I don't know it. Uh, that's a shame. Right, so we're going to have to do that. Um, I think what we'll do is... Um, do this. 
and then we'll do the um, bit to support the roof out of the wood to give it a bit of a two-tone look. That looks alright though. Um, what was I saying before I um, cocked that up? Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, so I couldn't find any other decent Rexes, so I thought instead of wasting loads of time flying around trying to find them, um, I'll give it a couple of days before I go looking again and we'll do something else. And I need to get some decent saddles anyway. We need to find um, a higher level Rex saddle and stuff like that. We need plenty of them really to protect the Rexes when we go and do the bosses. And a good way of doing that, obviously, is looting the crates. And a good place to do that is in the caves, which Baronics will be good with. Uh, I think we'll try and get a, a filer as well. Uh, I don't know if to do that today, but they're another good thing to use in the caves. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do something different um, for this one. And hopefully, it'll give, um, give the game a chance to spawn some higher level stuff. Ah, oh. oh, so when I'd done it on the other server, or on the server, um, I used S+, plus and I didn't have this issue. But it's not letting me build above the gate. I think the S+, plus gates let you snap things to the top of them. So I wonder if I can... Oh, and also, I was just thinking uh, I'll jump on the tapager and make my life a bit easier here. Tony died! <laughs> At the end of the last episode, if you've seen the last episode, um... Oh, no. Oh, my God. What a disaster this is. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, I would have jumped on Tony, but Tony died. A uh, bit of a palaver. At the end of the last episode, there was a scene of... Um, it was just red roaring before the uh, end screen. And I jumped off Tony and left him on the floor behind a rock. And, you know, to get a nice picture of red roaring. And I had my um, HUD turned off like this. So I can't see any numbers that come up. Can't see my action bar or nothing like that. You know, for the effect, for the um, little roar and the screenshot for my thumbnail. Tony died while I was doing that, and I had no idea he was getting slapped because I didn't have my HUD on. So, um, yeah, Tony's gone. I think it was uh, karma for um, killing my other uh, tapagers that weren't very good. I actually like that. That looks pretty cool. I like that. It looks nice. Um, yeah, so I need another tapager. I think that'll be number four. I've gone from never having tapagers, or very rarely, um, to go in through them like water in this series. Don't know what's going on. My math is good. I'm learning. <laughs> uh, my brother would be so proud of that. I counted things good. GG. Right, sweet. That's the reef. Oh, do you know what? Actually, it's pretty cool. Well, just out of interest, can I put all on these? No. But I could put another set of railings in. Oh. I'll leave it for now. I kind of like it. Looks a bit different, doesn't it? I weren't really expecting it. What's it look like from inside? Oh, do you know what? I actually like that. Oh, thirsty. I'll leave it like that for now. I'll see if my mind changes as we go. Uh, a bit gutted about having to put them ceilings up there, but do you know what? That don't look too bad, actually. Um, just got to get the partitions in now.
All right, cool. Right, well, that's that all sorted. Just put these railings in. But, uh, I like that. I actually really like that. It looks pretty cool. Happy with that. Oh, I nearly forgot. Pow. There we go. Oh, I didn't bring no wood to put in them, but you know, we've got some torches if we need them. Sweet. Uh, should I put railings around the edge? I don't know how annoying this will be, but whatever. Um. Okay, I like that. That looks alright. Just put a couple of ramps in there or something. I'll just leave it like that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that's that done now. I just well, I need to put a feeding trough in there, I suppose. Uh, but other than that, that will do, I think. I wish I could have done half walls because I would have just done a half solid wall at the bottom, then done two railings on the top so you can actually see in properly. That was the idea behind it, but that looks cool anyway. I do like the look of it. Just need some things to go in there now, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Let me know what you reckon down in the comments, but the uh, base is looking more like a little settlement now, which is pretty nice. Um, don't know what else we'll need, but definitely going to need some um, egg collecting type builds and things like that, so that's probably next on the list for as far as builds go. Um, I thought I'd put this in the video just to show some building. <laughs> like I said before, I really enjoy building stuff and just sort of going with things and see how it comes out and I think that come out pretty well. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that sort of thing. Um, I know I've asked before and people said they'd like to see it so yeah, I think this is the first proper thing I've built in a video since that really. But uh, I'll try and do more if you guys do like it. But yeah, that's the stables anyway. The only thing I might change is I might put some more um, railings to fill that gap. But I kind of like it open at the minute. I'll see if my mind changes as time goes on. But for now, that's that done. Um, so, just got to find a baryonics now. Uh, like I said, I think that's on my list. Although I was just thinking maybe a filer, but I think we'll get a Baryonyx, because um, I did enjoy the Baryonyx until I um, murdered it by dropping it down that hole. Alright, got my shotgun just in case I need it this time. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take Annie, because it's the only floor I've got left. <laughs> I really need to go and tame another Argent and a Pterodon, and obviously another Tapihara as well. Uh, after the disaster with Tony last week. Oh, here we go. 104. Not bad. Would like a 120 or above, really. 150 would obviously be amazing, but... The island being what it is, I don't know if that's uh, likely to happen. That spider just killed the Baronics that spawns down here, so that's not good. Oh, I think that's a um, note in these trees over here. Just see them escape. Here it is. Let's have a look. Let's get this out just in case. There is some raptors right now, but it looks okay at the minute. Right, what's this then? Rockwell record 25. Okay. That's a cool picture. I wonder who that is. The new Legion is finally on the march and not a moment too soon. Mr. Nerva runs his tribe exceptionally well, but their compound is positively Spartan. I don't think I saw a single piece of decor anywhere. Shocking. Got to be decorating stuff, buddy. It certainly made me miss the comforts of Rockwell Manor, I'll say that. At any rate, we are apparently in pursuit of a barbaric beast queen. According to the men, she feasts on the flesh of her enemies alongside her army of monsters. Dreadful Mr. Nerva is convinced that she is heading towards an oblisk, but I see no cause for alarm. No mere heathen could hope to uncover its secrets, and certainly not alone. 
Oh boy. I think you're wrong, mate. Pretty cool. Interesting. And I agree. You should be having decor everywhere in your base, you know what I mean? Gotta be looking good. Nice. About time we found another uh, note in person, in episode kind of thing. Uh, but right now, it'd be real nice to find a Baryonyx. I mentioned in one of the latest episodes, I can't remember if it was the last episode or the episode before, about um, the Explorer notes, and obviously the series is the story of Ark. Um, for two reasons, really. Like I said before, it's, you know, I called it that because I want to uncover the story of Ark. And obviously it's kind of nice because it's my story in Ark, you know, it's my playthrough of Ark. But um, yeah, I would like to find more of them in game, but obviously since I've been playing the game I found them randomly and not really read them, which is obviously why I don't know the full story. So uh, I am going to go back over them and do them separate to the episodes as well. So I'll start from the start of each set of notes, so obviously note one of each set. And just read through them and split them into episodes, you know, just keep them short because, you know, I don't want them to be super long. Maybe like two or three notes at a time per little video. And I'll mix them in and it'll be a part of the Story of Arc series. And um, I'll mix them in with this. Um, and I'll just add them in as a bonus episode so it won't take up any of the days that um, I upload on. I just see a Baronix down there, but I can't see her now. And um, that way we'll have the story running alongside my story and we can keep track of what's going on and if people want to reference it and look back through the notes it'll be on the channel and um, like I said before it'd be cool for me to be able to read through it and actually work out what's going on oh, there's one finally it took me ages to find another one what level are you? 84? oh my god oh please be a high level 112, oh boy, do you know what, I might settle for it. Um, we did see a 116 editor that I skipped thinking I might find something higher. But um, I can't remember exactly where it was. Do you know what, I think I do remember where it was. Um, I've been flying around for, I mean I don't even know, ages now. Got to be over an hour. And um, I just can't find a decent level one. Actually, there's one more place I didn't check. Oh, there's one straight away. Come on, please be a high level. Hey, yay! Oh my god! Oh, there's one. Oh no, it's an iguana there. <laughs> This has got to be the one. Come on. Come on. 92! Oh, you're taking the piss. Got to be taking the piss. Come on. There must be one more in there somewhere. Right, that's it. We're going balls to the wall now. Or balls to the floor, should I say. Get deep in here. Go on, Adon. I don't know why I'm crouching down at my desk trying to peek under the trees so I can be able to fucking see further, you twat. God damn it, such an idiot. I can't find the fucking Baryonyx. What is going on? They're all poop. Why do I keep squatting down? Um, oh, I forgot how awesome the swamp looks when you're actually in it. I'm always terrified of them, so I try not to go in them if I don't need to. <gasps> hey, yeah, hey. oh, that's the one from earlier, isn't it? I don't want it. Not worth. This is thick, in it? Oh boy, that scared the crap out of me. That actually hit me, but it didn't grab me. I was lucky. God damn it. Well, I'll go back to where I was earlier um, and see if I can find that. I think I'm sure I see a one sixteen. Um, I'll see if I can grab that. A 120! Oh, fucking sweet! 
Right. Let's get him out of here. Please don't kill me. Just want to get him somewhere a little bit safer. Right, this don't look too bad. Let's drop him there. Right. I actually think... I can bowler it. Yes, I can. Okay. Sod off. And you can sod off. Oh no. Not good. Come on. Hopefully that'll be alright. That's taken an hour and a half to find this. But we finally got one. I'm so glad I remembered to bring my shotgun this time. That is an absolute lifesaver. Oh, that looks cool, man. Look at it. It's looking nice. I really like the fat trees, man. Sick. Right. Got Betty back to base safely. After that absolute nightmare trying to find one. She does look cool. I'm happy with her. Um, she was worth the wait. It took so long to find, but I'm glad I got her. And we got the stables built earlier as well. I really like it still. Let me know what you guys think to it, if you like it or if you don't like it. Leave a comment below. And, um, yeah, I wish I could have gone and got some levels on Betty and uh, done a bit of caving on her. But just not going to have time. It took so long to find her. It was ridiculous. Um, so we're definitely going to get some caving in the next episode, I think. So like I said, I need to get um, some saddles for the T-Rexes anyway. Um, and I need to find some more T-Rexes. But it took so long to find just red in the last episode. I think I'll just try and do that um, when I'm not recording kind of thing. Because it takes so long. Um... But we're well on the way anyway. I really like the look at this place. Man. This is looking cool. I started my Atlas episodes again this week. New series of Atlas. The Perfect Beginning, the first episode's called, if you want to go and check that out. And I mentioned in that episode um, that if anyone's got any tips they want to know, um, obviously on Atlas for Atlas, that uh, to leave comments and I'll try and answer them best I can. And I thought it'd be kind of cool if I do that in my ARC episode. So if you guys ever want to know anything, or you've got anything you're not sure about, um, maybe I'll know the answer, maybe I won't, and if I don't, I'll try and find out and relay it back to you, and um, if it's something I can do, I'll make a video on it, you know, and um, yeah, be a cool little thing to do. So if you've got anything you want to know, any tips or whatever, leave a comment below and let me know, and I'll try best I can to answer them. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, I hope you like my stables, and I hope you like the way the base is looking. I'm really enjoying the look of this now, it looks looking good. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.